Hello, welcome to today's video. I was confused on whether I was gonna say welcome back or welcome. I am Ellie Brown from Uptown with Ellie Brown. So excited to have you here today. Today, we're going to do a full face of soft glam makeup. I've done this look the last couple of days. It's a really easy look to do. That's the beauty of makeup. You can play around and achieve the look that you want. Let's just jump straight into today's video, shall we? We are gonna start off with the primer, and I am using the Tatcha B Liquid Silk Canvas. As always, everything is gonna be linked down below. <laughs> um, I've been trying this out, and I actually really, really like this. This has done really, really well. I've been really impressed with this. I really, really like this. But the, yeah, this is a just a, a protective primer, so we're gonna add one pump of this on the face. And while this is kind of just marinating and sitting on the skin for a little bit, I'm going, we're gonna move on to the eyes. So I'm gonna take out my eyeshadow tape. And even though this is a soft glam look and the eyes itself is very soft and subtle, I do wanna create that lift with the eye in that very sharp line, which is why I'm going in with so you'll see that sharp line here once we're done with the shadow. And the only trick to this is making sure that they're both even. I think that looks good. So we're gonna go in with the eye primer. This is the Moira in shade beige. I'm gonna apply this all over the lids. And I don't always use an eyeshadow primer base like this. It just really depends on the eye. It depends on what I'm doing. If I want the eyeshadow to last as well, I will add this because it helps my lids from getting oily and creasing as well. So for this eye look, I only used two palettes and really you only need to use one if you want. You kind of play with the colors that you want, but I used the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk palette and I really wanted that inner glitter shadow to pop a little bit more. So then I went in with the Bobbi Brown Moonstone shadow over it and you'll see color is in Moonstone. Again, it'll be linked down below. Three colors that I used in the Pillow Talk are I start off with this pink on the crease, and then I apply this darker brown on the outer corner of the lids, and then I take my fingers and I use my fingers to apply this one right over here on the inner corner of the eye. We'll go in with that pink first and apply it right over here. I am also using a very fluffy brush. That's just because this doesn't have to be a very precise to look. So that's really the first color. And going in with a smaller brush, like this one, and mine's dirty because I actually just use these, this brush with the, you know, these colors the last two days creating this look. Using this brush, and we're gonna go in with that darker brown right over here. Concentrate that color on the outer. And you can build up the intensity of the shadow by layering, but just make sure you go slow and apply light layers and build it. I always like to keep that first brush around because if I need to go back and diffuse, kind of blend in the colors a little bit, that helps. Now we're going in with that third color right over here. And with my finger, I'm just gonna apply it on the inner corner. And then I'm gonna go in with the Moonstone. And then I'm going in with the Moonstone and pressing it. And you see how it just pops the difference here. So I'm just gonna add that Moonstone. So now we're done with the eyes. So we're gonna take off the tape. And you can see that clean line that it gave. And now we're moving on to the face. So for our foundation, I'm going in with the L'Oreal True Match Nude. This is the tinted serum, actually. Not that you're not wearing makeup, because obviously you are wearing makeup, but it's just very soft. And so I don't want to go in with a super heavy, full coverage foundation. I want some of that skin imperfection kind of to, to peek through a little bit. First layer is done, and now we're gonna go in with the second layer. And I should have just put the foundation on my hand and grabbed it from my hand, but 
here we are. I'm gonna just apply a couple more dots and then blend this out as well. And now for the bronzer and blush, we're gonna go in with the nude stick and this is the bronzer in shade Bondi Bell. And now for the blush with the nude stick and this is in shade Cherry Blossom Babe. And typically I will keep the blush a little bit higher but for this look, I'm actually bringing the blush a little bit more right at the center of the face. Bringing the blush to the center of the face gives it a little bit more of a youthful look versus when you keep the blush a little bit higher up, it just kind of lifts. And even bringing it a little bit underneath the eye over here because once I apply concealer, it is going to kind of melt and blend all together. Blush is typically always the first one to kind of fade, so even if you want to go a little bit heavier, you can. And now on to the concealer. I'm using the Natasha Denona Concealer in shade YN6. I'm gonna do my brows off camera. I really, really need to clean my brushes. <laughs> And now I'm just going to lightly set the under eyes and where I apply the concealer. If you want to bake, you can as well. Sometimes I, what I like to do is I like to take my Denisa Myricks pink powder first and then I'll go in with my Givenchy powder and just kind of reinforce the areas that I want to, which typically ends up being right in the center of my face and underneath my eyes. Finally for the face, the finish off. This is the Glow Face Palette in Universal. And this is one of my favorite face palettes. And you'll see how instantly it just brings that glow all over. It's really pretty. Now I'll take the tip of the brush right on the highlighter and just kind of pick up the highlight and highlight a little bit more if I want. Sometimes I'll just take a little bit of blush. Actually, this blush over here, it's a little bit more pink. This is that pink uh, Dior blush that went viral years ago, but kind of tap it in a little bit if I want a little bit more of that blush to pop, which I do for this look. A little tip, if you want, it's a personal preference, but that brown that you used on the outer corner, you can take just what's left over on the brush and just lightly sweep it right underneath your eyes to kind of complete the look. That's a total personal preference if you want. And then for the lashes, I am using my Ardell 421. I buy this in like the multi-pack. And what I do, and I've shared this before, I take just one lash strip, fold it down the middle, I cut it, right in the middle. So then what you're left is with two lashes, but this specific one, the 421, when you cut it in half, I don't know if you can tell here, but the inner is shorter and then the outer is longer. So it gives you that fanned out look. And because it's a half lash, it's just, it's so much more comfortable on the eye so much easier to wear. Like I can wear these all day and not have a problem. So I'm just going to curl now my lashes, apply some mascara and apply the lash strip on the outer corner of the eye. But like, look at that. It just gives you, it. it's just, it's perfect. It gives you that, you know. And then what I like to also do is Take brown mascara. I'm gonna apply brown mascara on the bottom of my lashes. And then also, just to kind of marry the both up top here, really going at the very base of the lashes, just so it doesn't look too heavy on the outer corner because of that strip. So it just conceals it a little bit more, but not really adding mascara. For the lips, which I'm trying to remove some of that foundation, I'm gonna go in with the Refi. I have to go back and read the product details on this again and how to properly use it because I'm sure it's a it's a uh, user error. But again, the color is blush and I'm just going to line my lips with the, the pencil because I don't like that bottom part at all. What I'm going to do 
So I'm gonna use the YSL, and this is the Candy Glaze in shade two. It's basically a clear gloss lip shine, but I think it looks really, really pretty with the lip pencil. I love, love these. Like, it's not, it's not like, it gives you that gloss look, but without all that stickiness and it's not super thick and just bland, you know, just, it, it's so, so good. Well, there you have it, friend. Now this is the complete look. Let's do an up close here so you can see the full makeup details and the very pretty glow and it's soft. It can even be done daily if this is something that you wanna do. I know it's a lot of makeup still at the end of the day, but I mean, the name describes it. It's a soft glam look, right? So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, make sure to comment down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that little bell so you can get notified when the next video goes live. Like, subscribe, and I will see you here again real soon. And thanks again, bye.